Hey everyone, it's Amy from Kahunako here, joining you from the best views in Kahuna. As you can see, jump on and put a comment and let me know if you think you know where I am. As you can see over there on the clock, beautiful 33 degrees in Kahuna today. And look at this view. Just wanna uh, help you enjoy that for now. I've got a lot of people that like to reminisce about um, being in Kahuna and happy times and all that. But I'm actually on the balcony of the Bower Tavern. As you can see there, there's their little logo. Now, here's the upstairs balcony area. Now, hey, we're upstairs because um, they're very busy downstairs. So I've dragged Jamie away from his very important role and they're also having a wake downstairs. So the Bow Tavern is uh, very versatile and they can cater for everything. Um, but I just wanted to catch up with Jamie and Vicky because I did do episode 20 of Lunchtimes with Locals uh, with them at the start of May and it's episode 48 today so isn't that amazing and I thought I haven't done a revisit so much has happened and um, so I'm going to catch up with Jamie in a second but I just wanted to show last time I didn't get to come up the top of the tavern because um, they're in the middle of shutdowns and they sort of had stuff everywhere and they were doing renovations so now that that's all been done I wanted to um, take the opportunity to show you this beautiful facility and the view that you get when you hire the balcony so there's the balcony got the beautiful windows that open up um, with that view obviously the windows open all the way up and you can come up here you can have your meal they have the fairy lights on at night and it's just absolutely beautiful and also um, when we go inside you'll see they have a separate bar up here and an indoor dining area as well so make sure you say hi tell me where you're watching from um, give us a shout out so I've just come in the door there and there's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of a chat um, in a second. So I'll just show you around the room. Um, has the room got a name, Jamie? Is it known as something? Yes. Meanders. That's right. And that's a special word um, in Kahuna. I can't remember what it means. I think it means like the meandering of the creek or the meeting of the creek or something like that. So I did know that this um, room had a special name, but it's a function room that is available for hire. Um, you can hire it on the weekends. You can hire it any time. I think people have meetings upstairs here sometimes. Um, it's just a lovely private space. It is upstairs. Um, so you do have to be able to, to get up the stairs, but it's got its own set of um, restrooms and its own bar and everything. And of course, uh, when I spin around again, we'll look out and the balcony is out there as well. Air conditioned, heated, and just an amazing place to spend some time with friends. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around. For some reason, it's gone a little bit dark. Hopefully you guys can all see us still. And um, Jamie and I are gonna have a bit of a chat socially distanced of course the funny thing was I just watched a little bit of our episode Jamie um, I was just saying that um, it was episode 20 that we kind of met and, and did a little bit of a catch-up and this is episode 48 so it was a little bit of a while ago, a while ago. it was at the start of May and um, Vicky joined us as well and um, you were in the it was the start of the first lockdown and you would, had just migrated to doing, I think, some takeaways. Take meals, yep. yep. And you were doing the renovations downstairs, so we didn't actually get to um, come up and have a, have a look up here. But uh, give us a bit of a rundown of what's happened since then. Well, since, <laughs> well, after the first lockdown, we managed to open for six weeks and then got locked down again for another six weeks. Yeah. Um, so back to takeaways. And for the last eight weeks, we've been open with very limited numbers yes which has been great with good support from takeaways and home deliveries that we've done so you're still doing the takeaways doing and home those, deliveries yeah. and everything i actually think that's been a real bonus a lot of i've heard a, you know a lot of feedback from people that they've really actually enjoyed that the the op, having the option of of course coming back and seeing you guys but also yeah. the convenience of being able to go online and order and then here comes Jamie or one of the girls in their yeah. car and just drops it off to you. It's fantastic. So that's, um, yeah, that's been yeah, the town's really supported us. With yeah, it's yeah. just one of those parts of the business now that we want to take on as we can. Yeah. Um, when the numbers come back, 
on the weekends, we'll have to evaluate that then, but yeah. the weeknights yep. will be certainly something we can keep doing. Keep doing it, exactly. Well, it's, it's probably something you didn't really um, consider doing beforehand, but it was a necessary yeah. step and um, probably an, uh, something that's helped get you through this you know, really tough time. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> Instead yeah. of having to be closed down, you know, 100%, um, you're actually able to still um, keep some staff on and keep your income coming That's in, right. keep your hand in it. Because you guys were very new to the industry, um, hopefully people will go back and watch um, episode 20, but you know, you'd, you'd just taken over in August last year. Last year. And then of course COVID and all this craziness hit so March, yeah. in March, so it was, um, you know, something, you know, that no one expected. And but for new business owners, not being in the industry before, in a new town, in a new community, not really knowing many people, like you've you've done a really amazing job to um, still well, be going. Yeah, that's a big, big part of the town. The town's just so supportive. So many great people in town. Um, you know, without that support, you know, a lot of businesses don't survive no exactly that's right yeah, so we're pretty fortunate to have this in this town really. yeah, yeah yeah that's right and the, i like how it's known as the second office to a lot yeah. of people um i'm sure there's other names that people have for the tavern yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> but i i know um you took part in the bush biz boost program yep. recently and you know that was something that you were really proud of that people at the tavern is like a hub of the community a meeting place a place of happiness um whether you're gathering over drinks meals coffee um happy or sad occasions you know it's just a really nice place for people to catch up with each other and um yeah create memories and and be a real hub and you guys love that yeah so. that's good that's a good and yes that's like people come here to forget about things or organize things or yeah. celebrate things and it's it's just very central to the town it is it is it's a, an amazing business let's see who's watching give us a hi everyone i'll go back through there's a few comments there uh, oh mum says hi she's my biggest fan thanks mum <laughs> um so there's another challenge happening at the moment yeah we're looking for a head chef head chef a head chef for the bower tavern um, the search is on. Uh, Jamie is um, yeah, looking for someone to add to their team, a head chef. We've um, got an ad running at the moment. It's been shared quite a lot of times, right. yep. um, advertised in on Seek and all and on your website and everything yep. like that. So if anyone out there knows of someone who is an experienced chef um, and wants to have a tree change. I reckon that's the real sell, isn't it? I mean, I you, think so, yeah. you and Vicky had your tree change moving up here from Werribee, and how have you found that experience? We should have done it earlier. Should have done it yeah. earlier. There you go. Yeah. There's the quote of the day. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, being embraced by the community, and that's exactly what would happen if someone came up and yeah. and um, started working as part of your team. So, so, in that aspect, the town's very supportive of families. You know, younger people that want to come up and make a go and if you make a go up here that you'll get backed by everybody absolutely yeah. that's right so if anyone out there is watching and you do know anyone that might be interested or if you've got any networks that you could um, you know let them know about this opportunity then please do because uh, the meals here at the tavern have an amazing reputation all you've got to do is look at the reviews online on Google and on Facebook and um, TripAdvisor and all that the meals are amazing always proud of them um, being proud of, of that and keeping up the service and everything so um, you know, someone who comes is going to have big shoes to fill, but... Right. but lots of support. <laughs> you know, lots we of support. We've got a great team. That's yeah. right. And I've learned so much through the Bush Biz Boost about Jamie and Vicky, and they're willing to, you know, embrace suggestions, opportunities, really excited about the future. Um, I know you've got a few different plans for, you know, particularly the room up here yeah. and, and many other plans. Um, so, yeah, if anyone came along and joined this team, then... They're guaranteed to have support, guaranteed to have an amazing lifestyle, and also guaranteed to be able to, you know, be a leader and have a bit of creativity, um, you know, and work with the team here to make the tavern even bigger and better. Um, I just think it's such a great opportunity. So, so yeah. yeah, get in touch, anyone. Um, what else is happening, Jamie? Well, just... we're looking forward to Sunday night with ease of restrictions. Yes. So that'll open us back up. What happens then? What are you allowed uh, to do well, then? We go to 100. 
people. Inside? Inside. With, wow. with uh, limitations to spacing, but we can pretty much get close to those numbers now. Yeah. And that'll, that'll free us up with bookings. It won't be so regimented at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Yeah. The place will flow a bit better. Yes, exactly. Take a bit of pressure off. We'll be able to get more people inside. Yeah. Um, we're still doing outside. The weather's still good. The weather's been great, so that, that's, that's handy. always at the hand of the gods there, but there's been some pretty good nights on a Friday and Saturday where the street looks great outside with yeah. tables and chairs set that's up, right. bar tables. That's it's, right. It's good. It's been yeah. fun. And um, it's been great to see the visitors come back from the Melbourne areas, but even prior to Melbourne opening back up again. Oh, regional travel was great. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. packed in here as much as it could be. Yeah. Um, but even the street and the parks and the caravan park um, and the shops have just been really well supported by the rest of Victoria as well. And um, now that Melbourne's opening up and then we've got a few, you know, Christmas and yeah. summer holidays and all the skiers and everyone that sort of um, right. come up constantly. It's starting to switch back on again. It is, so that's it's, right. It's good. And we've got the Christmas traders market coming up as well. The Tavern are one of the businesses that are involved in that. So um, that's on the Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes. The time's coming. It's going so fast. Um, so make sure you get behind all the businesses there. Um, as you're doing your shopping, just um, come and thir uh, quench your thirst and pick up a takeaway coffee yeah. from the tavern and um, take that while you're going into all the other... Um, or maybe you could finish off your shopping trip with a... Um, a meal from here so yeah make sure you you support all the businesses for your Christmas shopping as well and um, I guess you're gonna be having Christmas parties and yeah, they're starting gatherings to now. Yep. yeah I suppose people are probably ha holding off you know to see if they were able to book but yeah. um, get in fast if you want a, a spot up here we've had a few Christmas staff parties up here and uh, yeah they were really fun and it was great to have sort of access to the bar up here sort yep. of as, as well not having to go up and down all the time and, and of course the balcony just um, makes the atmosphere it's a great great yeah. evening spot up here absolutely beautiful so yeah get in touch and make sure you come if you're coming past kahuna call in um the tavern does um coffees and takeaway coffees and, yep. and things like that which some people um, might not realize and um you always get a great feed here like we said so um if we've got any comments here a few people ask me what's for lunch Hmm, what's my preferred lunch here? I usually go with chicken Kiev because <laughs> they're what's absolutely beautiful. The what's the special? What, what, got, what should I have? Um, a Thai green curry at the moment. Oh, yum. And our fish is barramundi currently. Yep. Uh, we have club sandwiches now. This is for lunch. Beautiful. And we're doing a um, pork Florentine. Yum. It's a special. So. Yeah. And of course, the big kahuna burger. Can't forget that. Can't forget that. <laughs> that's always it's a, a challenge in itself. To <laughs> it's eat. a challenge. It's massive. Yep. It's delicious. And um, yeah, that's usually what my family orders when they, when they come. So um, let us know what your favourite meal from the tavern is. Like I said, you wouldn't have had a bad one, I am sure. And they're always changing it up. Yeah, yeah well, end, end of yep. this month, we'll be changing the menu back into the summer, yep. summer yep. menu. That's so great. We'll keep, keep the staples and the. Yeah. The people that throw the meals that people lynch us when we change, they'll stay on. <laughs> <They're> on. <laughs> but the, the few of the others will will mix up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the drink? What's the most popular drink at the moment? Going into summer, what are people? Uh, don't well, know? it was actually good. On Saturday it was the first day since March that I actually had to change a keg on the same wow. day I was here. So, <laughs> there we so go. Great so Northern's getting very people popular. People are going back to the yeah. Great Northern and. Yep. Um, the nice white wine and I white suppose there'll be a bit of to go out the door, champagne yeah. drunk over Christmas and um, yep. yeah, while well, everyone comes in and catches up with their friends and family. So anyway, um, make sure you have a really good think about whether you know someone who might um, be interested in a tree change coming to Kahuna or someone that's just, you know, in the background and you know they've got some experience and that might be the opportunity that they're after. That would be fantastic. And um, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.